Well, we're finally at that time. My mom is heading back to Florida today, tomorrow. So we are currently in Niagara Falls, New York, doing some back to school shopping for the kids and eventually grocery shopping. And we're in Walmart and I have to tell you, I, I don't know what they are thinking with some of these clothes. Oh my God, you gotta see these. Like bell bottoms are back. Good grief. I, I'm gonna be living in a lot of leggings and jogging pants this winter. So, oh my goodness, look at this. And I apologize if you like them. If you like them, go for it. But I have to tell you, this, this is just ridiculous. Um, I found Grace one pair of leggings with the stars and the moon on them so far. And that is it. I don't think I'm going back with a lot of clothes from Walmart. Let's hope the other places have a lot better options. Well, <laughs> I just said goodbye to my mom. We just dropped her off at the airport. Um, I hate not living closer to my mother. <laughs> I really do. But I know it's time for her to go home. She needs to get to her own home and be my with my dad. <laughs> And her little, her little Bubba, their little dog, but uh, I'll miss her. I, I, what I wouldn't give to have my mom and dad live so close that we could see them like every Sunday and have them over for dinner and I could go to lunch dates with my mom and things like that. I really, really wish that. So if you're fortunate enough to have that, you're very, very blessed. I've been terrible about filming. We've gone into a few stores, um, Burlington, Petco, the Dollar Tree, and I bought something at all three of those stores. Um, so yeah, but I just keep forgetting to film, but we're going to be going into Hobby Lobby. I've never gone in. Um, this could be a bad decision, <laughs> but um, I've never gone into one and we still have some time. Um, we can't cross the border to 1230 and Aldi, where we want to go, is literally the last, almost last stop before we go across the border, so it's perfect timing. So we get a little time to kill. So... He is taking me into Hobby Lobby and he might regret it. <laughs> Shelving's cute. these pumpkins in 50% off. Gosh, those are cute. Lots of fall things. Oh my, I see something. The only apron I don't have is a fall one, so let's see what they got. Is it good? I love that. He's an enabler. What's this one? This one's got sunflowers on it, which is cute. Pumpkin spice and everything nice, but they're just not, they're not singing to me. So, I'll keep looking. Oh, I love this big spoon. Not bad ingredients. No, not at all. How much is that? 
We got cranberry preserve. Oh, they got pumpkin butter. Oh my gosh, babe, these are cute for the cricket. I can make little sayings on them. Are these on sale too? Fall decor, party florals, and crafts. 50% off. Would that be included? Stand now, extension 11, please stand 11. These. Just seeing what else they got. These little wire pumpkins. Those are cute. Oh, those are too cute. What else we got here? I think I'm going to grab that. And, oh, I have been looking everywhere for these. can't take it. it. I am so overwhelmed. There's so much stuff here. It's unreal. Oh. It's not the same color as Lily, but it's a dachshund. Oh, folks, this, this place is wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. This mug. I love this mug, but it's that ceramic, and I don't have any luck with the ceramic mugs. They all chip and break on me. So I'd rather get a stoneware one if we can find it. Oh, this lights up. Oh, hello. That's so cute. That's so cute. So many things. So many things. I can't even. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're right there. I love these trucks. Not enough to pay eighty dollars, but they are so cute. They'd be 20 then. These are cute. They'd be 10. Oh, what's this? Oh, covers. Yeah, they're the, the cushion covers. Eat ham. <laughs> Again, they're the kind you have to turkey plates. So cute. Look at all the signs. Oh my gosh. Oh. I mean, I feel like I can't even go down every aisle because I'm worried I'm going to be buying more than I should. <laughs> but oh, oh my gosh. I love this. I won the lottery. I know one of the first stores I'm hitting up. Hobby Lobby. I mean, they're even getting Christmas out, which, you know, if you make things, you have to have them out early, but, oh, these, these are cute. The only thing I hate about pillows is storing them after. I definitely like the couch cushion idea. Oh, what's that? Welcome fall. It's cute in front. How much is that? Seventeen. Ninety nine. So it'd be half price. What do you think for the front step? Oh. Going into Christmas now. I think they're still slowly getting it out, but it doesn't hurt to look. We always get the kids an ornament every year for Christmas, so it'd be neat to find them one. Oh, this would be a good one for Grace. She's always singing. Ford Mustang. Turtles. <laughs> the Santas are pretty. 
Oh my goodness, look what they have. We'll just put that away. Where's the pug one? Mm -hmm. Oh, they do, but it's a girly pug. Our pug's a boy. Yes. Oh, we've already gotten Gracie a couple rainbow ones. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> a honey pot. That is adorable. What's great is I can use my Cricut and write Lily in the year on here for her first Christmas. Oh, and they got police officers, firefighters, police dogs. Very cute. Oh, oh my goodness. That's a dachshund too. Armadillo. I like the wagon wheels. Of course, they got the trees. Looks like white's going to be big color for Christmas. A lot of white stuff. This is cute. It's garland with the red truck hanging. Very cute. It looks like Christmas stuff. My Christmas stuff is already on. Isn't that weird? Wow. Guess I'm getting that little ornament even cheaper. for my wreath. I think I have one. This is the problem when you have so much Christmas and fall stuff you start forgetting what you got and I I don't even remember if we really bought anything last year because I'm trying to be good. I donated quite a bit of Christmas. We went from like 12 totes to uh, I think 5. So I'm trying not to go down every aisle because we would literally be here all day. This is cute. Oh yeah. Stuff green. Oh here, this is all the Dr. Seuss's the Grinch things. Very cute. That is cute. Ah. And we always get Grace and a nutcracker. I've we've gotten her one every year. And we were gonna stop. <laughs> this year but I think she has an odd number so we're debating about getting her one she thinks she's not getting any more she thinks she's done but okay I'm I'm gonna do my best to look but not buy because I promised myself I wouldn't buy any more yarn <laughs> unless I need it for a specific project I'm making but I'm just curious I want to know the prices so five dollars so that's pretty much what I am paying so in the long run this would be more expensive because it's American but I do like some of these colors wow I love that one okay I'm in another aisle it might be hard to get out of here without a few things the cricket aisle mm. prices are unbelievable I mean, buck fifty for this. Look at what quality it is. Okay, I'm looking for brown. It's too dark. I need a a chocolate brown, hun. I'm not seeing anything. Removable, that's not even what I want. I need iron on. <laughs> there it goes, iron on. Solids. There we go. I'll get that <coughs> for the gamer. They got some really cute things. Just five more minutes. This is a good one. <laughs> that's what it, that's what that should be. Farmhouse stuff. My kryptonite. <sighs> Fifty percent off. My other kryptonite. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, 
love it. That's going in the cart. These are cute. Oh, what else do we got? Farmhouse. Oh my gosh, that's cute. Welcome to our porch. More chicken stuff. Oh, love that. Our happy place, farmhouse. Some of this I can make with my Cricut. Sometimes it's cheaper to make it and then other times it's not. I love that windmill. Welcome-ish, depends on who you are and how long you stay. I love that. That is cute. Wow, they sure like the old truck here. That is stunning. Disney. Very cute. What is this? I didn't see that. That might be coming home too because it would be 450. That's pretty cute. But nope, I got things in my fridge that tell me the differences. Shelving. Lots of shelving. Here. We're not going to go to every aisle because we, we literally could be here all day. But this is a store I will be coming back to. <laughs> the chicken mother load. I might get them for $10. Okay, so we left from Hobby Lobby and David, was I good? Yeah. <laughs> it was really good. Um, We'll definitely be coming back. I It's a beautiful store. Um, we didn't even see what a good half of it. Mm. it it's a little overwhelming. It's a lot, um, but we'll definitely make a trip back. I uh, when we, Or when we come back, we'll definitely make sure we have a, a trip into Hobby Lobby. We're now heading to Aldi, which I've also, we've never, have you been in one? No. We've never been in one. Um, we're hoping to get our grocery haul, and I can't wait to share with you everything I found the last day and a half here. So off to Aldi. We're here. It's not a very big store, so I'm hoping we can find things because I really don't want to go to another grocery store. So let's find out. I have a man from Corridor. the jackpot here. We're all done. We weren't in there very long. Um, it's a small store with a lot of people in it. Um, and I'm going to say I was a little disappointed. Um, maybe it's just this particular one, but they didn't have half the stuff I was looking for. So we're heading back to Walmart. <laughs> um, I did get some deals, so it wasn't a total loss, but now we have to head back to Walmart to finish our list. <laughs> Okay, so we're all done Walmart. We managed to find pretty much everything we were looking for um, and some good deals. Some things are not a deal here anymore. It really isn't. Um, you really got to know what you're buying and what you're paying. <laughs> but uh, we did manage to find quite a few of the things. I couldn't find by Pomona's Pectin. I've pretty much given up. I'll just have to keep buying it where I am. And Shore Gel. I cannot find the Shore Gel. Um, not Clear Gel, Shore Gel. I've given up. 
Um, so I'll just keep using my tapioca uh, flour, uh, tapioca starch that I use um, for thickening for things I'm canning. So it is now 1226. We've been here officially 24 hours, so we can safely cross the border with our uh, receipts. Um, so I'm waiting until we walk, drive around the other side, and I'll try and, if I can, there's a lot of people here, try and get a quick video of the falls. Um, there's nowhere to park and walk down here. That's one of the things that makes this very difficult. Um, that there's no place to really park and walk. Um, I shouldn't say there's no place. There are places, but yeah, it costs a lot of money <laughs> to do it. And I just don't want to do that just for to get some quick video of the falls. Um, but I will say, if anyone's been thinking about coming here um, for a trip, it's beautiful. Um, we love this area, don't we, babe? Yeah. It's really nice. It, uh, the people are really nice. Um, there's a lot to do here. On the American side, Niagara Falls, not so much. <laughs> I know they have the casino. If you like the gambling and stuff, there's lots to do. Uh, there's a big casino on the American side, but there's not a lot. There really isn't, but uh, the Canadian side is beautiful. Oh, here. There, I can get you a little bit better view of the American Falls. There they are. Spectacular. We made it home. <laughs> Surprisingly, not too late. So I'm tired, but I really want to end this video and show you our haul. So I'm going to show you what we got at Target first because it was a small, small haul from Target. At Target, I found our organic um, Pop-Tarts that Grace and I love. I got two boxes of Wallberry, and this is a new one to us, Pumpkin Pie. Or did we have that? Did we try that last fall, Grace, when we went and got Nanny when she visited us last fall? Maybe we did. The Pumpkin Pie. I got that, and I got Gracie a box of her Annie's cookies. And that's all we got at Target. So I also got the kids a couple of shirts. I got myself two plaid shirts and a t-shirt. And I believe that was it. So all together, I think at Target, I spent clothing-wise, or food-wise, I only spent about $15. So that was all. Walmart was another story, though. Um, actually, I'm going to show you Aldi real quick. Oh, wait, I can't. Most of Aldi's still covered. Okay, let's try Walmart. So Walmart, um, this was over... From the first day we got there, yesterday plus today, because um, I just kind of went the first day just to kind of price them out and see what kind of prices they were, because I thought I was going to get the majority of the stuff at Aldi. Turns out I didn't. Um, Aldi was fine. It's just, I mean, it could be too, because we're there on a Monday, so maybe they were really busy over the weekend. Um, but they didn't have a lot, and it was a very, very small store. I, I, I don't know, are Aldi's a smaller store? Um, I know the one I drove by in Florida seemed huge, <laughs> but this one was very tiny. But okay, anyway, what I got at Walmart. A lot of you know that our daughter, Grace, um, she's not 100% dairy-free, but she tries to limit it because she does have a, I wouldn't say an allergy, but a sensitivity, definitely, to dairy. So <laughs> we loaded up, <laughs> and I pretty much, don't hate me for this, I pretty much cleaned out all the silk uh almond milk yogurts for her <laughs> I pretty much cleaned them out um we left some of this brand the so delicious those were quite a, there was quite a few but I did clean them out um next time we go I'm going to ask I'm going to try and order ahead and see if we can get like a case I wanted to get her two months worth this is only about a month's worth so and this is new to us so Grace is pretty excited to try that one because she loves the actual milk so we got that I got Aiden two Cinnamon Toast Crunch um, yogurts to try, and we got da, 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 uh, two packages of these. These are the Super Packs of 24 sticks. I paid seven something for these. Our pack of 10 sticks here right now are $10. Or excuse me, they're 11 because they're $10.99. Yep, you heard me, $11. So I bought Two packs of 24. That won't last us two months, but it will certainly last us a while. And, okay. I also got four packs of Kerrygold Pure Irish Butter Unsalted for Baking. Um, Grass-fed cows. I can't even, when I can find this here, it is so exorbitant. I can't bring myself to pay for it. This was, in Canadian, around $5 a box, which is not bad. Um, it's over $11, I think, Canadian here. So I got four boxes of that. I got a thing of medium cheddar cheese and a thing of sharp cheddar cheese. These are only three something. These are um, 
eight and nine dollars here right now. So even in Canadian money, that was a deal. And I also got a big block of mozzarella. Gracie loves her Annie's white cheddar macaroni and cheese. And yes, these aren't dairy free. Like I said, she's not 100% dairy free, but she tries to limit in a week how much dairy she does eat. These were a pack of four for $4.98. I pay almost that for one here. So I bought her two four pack of them. Um, these are for David for work this coming week and next week. Um, we only paid like, what was it, David? $1.58 a piece for these. We can't even get these here. <laughs> so I don't even, I can't even compare them in the price. But we got a couple of turkey ones, some ham ones. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five. I got five of them. So, and then David got his bologna. The majority of this is going into the freezer. Um, yes, it's not healthy. <laughs> But David loves bologna. Um, you would be shocked if I told you what we pay for bologna here. One of the reasons he bought is because we can't even get Oscar Mayer um, here in our part of Canada. And have him growing up on the border, David's used to Oscar Mayer. That's what he would get. Um, but if we compared it to, say, a Maple Leaf brand, how much is this right now for that? Seven or eight dollars. And this was two fifty. $2.50. Even in Canadian money, that's like $3, <laughs> roughly. The exchange is pretty good right now. So, yeah, those will be going in the freezer. <laughs> Other thing that is a better deal in the States are these uh, balance breaks, Sargentos. Um, half the price. Literally half the price, even in Canadian money. So, I've got them. Um, I love late July um, tortilla chips. I, like the I love the blue ones, don't get me wrong, but I did want to get two boxes of the restaurant style ones and they were all out of them. They were there too last night and I didn't get them, but I'm kind of glad I didn't because I guess a new sale started today and these were half price. So I paid $2.50 a bag for these. So if I could just keep Grace, Grace is not to eat these ones. Do you hear me, Grace? Because these will be for um, loaded nachos and things for suppers. So this is several suppers here for us, for David and I. Um, what else did I get? Oh, my sun chips cannot get these here in our part of Canada. The only kind we can get is a cheese one, I think, and I think a jalapeno or something. I, I've never even tried them because, yuck, I wouldn't like them. But, yes, I got four bags, and I had a bag at the hotel last night, so technically I bought five bags. Um, these will last me months, months, and months. I And when I do open them, I'm thinking about um, I'm going to seal them again to keep them fresh longer. Uh, I think they were three something. I don't even care how much they were. Well, if they were $10 a bag, I wouldn't have bought them, but they were three something. Cause like I said, I can't get them and I'm not a huge chip person, but when I do like chips, I'm going to be so happy. I'm going to have these. Um, another thing <laughs> I grew up on were the Barnum's animal crackers. So I just bought a bag for the hotel and then I realized, um, I grabbed the wrong bag and I found these at Dollar Tree. These are actually the ones I wanted. I love these, <laughs> but I just got one bag. I was good. Another thing I can't get here, and this is a weakness, Drake's coffee cakes. I already had one in the hotel. <laughs> um, I'm going to put these in the freezer. That way they'll last me longer and I won't eat them all the time. I, I love these. I grew up with them and we can't get them here. So that's definitely an indulgence. For the stockpile, I bought, I think I got eight boxes. We must be missing a bag because I'm pretty sure... I bought eight boxes of the macaroni. 92 cents a box, folks. 92 cents. In Canadian, that's really around a dollar something, maybe a dollar four, something like that. And I can't even get it. <laughs> if, when I do find it, it's definitely not a dollar four. So I thought I bought eight boxes, but maybe I didn't. Um, we might have a box. Oh, yep. We have a bag behind me that has some in it. So I did buy more than that. And that is definitely for the stockpile. Okay, I found them. I did buy eight boxes. So... Plus, I have been adding slowly to our stockpile from here, so I'm pretty happy to get them. Those are definitely, we use them a lot in the winter. I got two boxes of the Rich and Creamy Annie's. Um, this is when the three of us, um, though Aiden might be willing to try try them this fall. Um, he, he wants to try to increase what he's eating, so pretty proud of him. So I got two boxes of them, much cheaper, half the price they are here. The kids really liked um, liked these, the Cliff Thin Bars. Well, I don't know. Did Aiden, did you even get a chance to try these, or did your sister eat them all last box I got? I'm not a big fan of the thin ones. Oh. I like the okay. Well, Gracie liked the thin ones, so I got two boxes. We can't even find them here. Um, cereal. You all know how much we go through cereal. 
This is the Walmart brand, or no, Malto Meal brand of Apple Jacks. If Aiden doesn't like them, David wanted them. <laughs> and Honey Nut Cheerios, which Aiden does like. I got a bag of them. And I think that is, oh, oh. And then they had my Irish breakfast. 50 tea bags is what I paid. I paid for this what I pay for 20 here. These were $6, and I normally I pay that for a box of 20 I don't, because normally I wait for them to go on sale. But regular price, they're $6 for a box of 20 So I bought two boxes of 50 So those should do me a while. And I think that is it from Walmart. Okay, so at Aldi, um, I got two bags of this organic light brown sugar. I always say I'm going to make my own, and then I find really good deals <laughs> on it already made. So this was $2 and. I think it was $2.25 a bag. I Organic brown sugar here. Oh my gosh, seven or eight dollars a bag maybe for the same size. So yeah, that was a good deal. Um, we got a box of shredded wheat, mini, mini, mini wheats. It's, I'm assuming Millville is Aldi's um, brand, but it looks exactly like them. Um, I love how no artificial um, high fructose corn syrup in them. So we were happy with that. These were dollar 39 a box <laughs> like we were like are you serious like we couldn't believe it and then Aiden's cinnamon toast crunch in quotation marks was 225 a box for this family size the cheapest I can get that here is 499 I think right now for the smallest box and it's smaller than this so yeah we got him four boxes it won't last as long as I would like it to well maybe it will but, because like I said, Aiden's going to be trying. But yeah, I got four boxes. And then cheese, folks. Cheese was definitely cheaper at Aldi. These were $2 a package. $2 a package for Swiss cheese. Um, and it's not treated with the hormone. Because um, I had to make sure of that. Because I know in the States, they can do that. So, um, we don't here in Canada. But I, yeah, so um, $2. So we got a couple packs of slice or um what is that swiss and some cheddar and this was three dollars and change two blocks of saggio cheese which is just as good as parmesan um right now maybe maybe this quality 10 or 11 dollars for the same size and this is eight ounces or 226 grams so yeah very good deal so that was the food I'm not going to show you everything else we bought, like the clothes and things, because quite frankly, I'm too tired, and that's boring. You don't want to see that. I will show you what we got at Burlington, because I just loved it. I got these towels, a pack of two for $4. Um, Welcome Harvest, which definitely is something that's going to be happening this week. Oh, and I just got a hornworm off my tomatoes. I knew there was one there, because I saw evidence of one a couple of days ago, but we couldn't find them. But he was there today. The chickens got a treat. And then I wanted a really nice blanket for fall for our couch. And they had this one for $12. And one of the reasons I loved it, just because it was so cute, there's a dachshund to TJ Maxx. <sighs> Another store that I shouldn't be left alone in. And I don't have a Halloween coffee tea mug. I have a lot of mugs, but not. And David found this one. It's not the same color as our pug, which I'm not sure where he is right now. But it is a pug, and inside it says, pumpkin pug. So there's my mug. So I got that, and then, then just, oh, there he is. There's our pug. There's our pug. <laughs> and then the other thing I got, I got a few things at Hobby Lobby, which you all know I love. So I picked up these. I had these before in our car, and I don't know what happened to them. I picked them up when we were on a trip to um, Maine. And, of course, it's the red truck. These are great if you spill anything in your coaster, in your cup holders, and your vehicles. They absorb everything. These came up for 50 cents a piece because they were 90% off. 90. These came up a dollar because they were 90% off. This one says, I love you, a bushel and a pack. And they're little tea towels, but I've got plans for these. <laughs> so that's why I grabbed them. I got that one. I got one that said, I'm so happy to be home. And boy, I... We were only away a day and a half, well, technically two days and one night, <laughs> but I am happy to be home. I like to be home. This one says Amazing Grace, and this one is You Are My Jam. Adult, I got these for, sorry, no, 10 cents a piece, right? A dollar. I'm too tired to be doing math. And then these were 50% off because they already have their fall stuff on sale. Like, that's 
it's a great idea, but I was shocked. These are um, dishcloths with scrubby um, texture on them. So I got that one with the blue truck and that one with the white truck because you all know I love the truck. And then they had all their Singer sewing supplies were on sale. I got these Singer um, uh, scissors for $2.50. That is a steal, let me tell you. Like, I was happy to get them. And then I just got these two little cutting boards to make something with my Cricut. They were only, do, 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 I think they were a couple dollars each because they were also on sale. Yes, they were $2 each. I got some brown vinyl, um, iron-on vinyl for my Cricut because I couldn't find any the other day. And I made Gracie a really cute shirt. And it's a dachshund that's in rainbow. It came out really nice. I got this for Lily's first Christmas. I am going to personalize it with my Cricut. That was only $2 because it came up on sale. I didn't even know. And then these were on sale, and I didn't know it. I bought them without the sale. So I got this rooster or chicken rise and shine. I absolutely love this. I paid, I think, $4 for that. And I got this chicken for my uh, little tiered tray. And this one I paid $3, I think, for. So that is my haul. That is a big haul. It's a long haul. I am exhausted. Happy. So thanks for coming along with me on our little trip to the States in Niagara Falls. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. Till then, take care, God bless, and we'll see you all soon.